In question four of this series, I'll show you how to graph the polar equation of a conic, and once again, we'll be looking at a hyperbola. This time our question reads, find the eccentricity, identify the conic, give an equation of the directrix, and sketch the curve of the equation shown below. Notice that our equation is in terms of r and theta, so it's already a polar equation. The first thing that I wanna do is compare this equation to one of the general equations for polar conics, and they're shown right here. So what I'll do to make this look like one of those where we have one plus minus a number times cosine is I'll factor out a two from the denominator. So I have r is equal to four over two factored out one minus three over two, which is equivalent to 1.5 cosine theta. At this point, four over two can be reduced down to two over one. We don't need to write that one. So our equation technically is r is equal to two over one minus three over two cosine theta. Now that we have it in this form, we can determine a lot of information. One being the eccentricity. The eccentricity is that number, three over two. So I can write down e is equal to three over two. Now because three over two, which is equivalent to 1.5, is greater than one right here, this is a hyperbola. So we've determined two of the four things that they want. They also want us to find the equation of the directrix. Looking back at the general equations, we have ED in the numerator position. And this is a little bit different than what we saw in questions one, two, and three, where it was shown as E times P. I decided to change it to D because it made more sense in reference to what we're looking for. So to find the equation of the directrix, I'll set E times D equal to in our case, two. I already know what E is, it's three over two. So three over two times D is equal to two, dividing both sides by three over two gives us D is equal to four over three. Now since in our equation, it's one minus three over two times cosine theta, this is minus as well. So if that were plus, you would leave that as positive. They're asking for an equation of the directrix. So rather than D is equal to, I'll write down x is equal to negative four over three, and I chose x because we're dealing with cosine. Had it been sine, I would write down y is equal to, so it would be a line that's parallel to the polar axis. Therefore, what you see here represents the equation of the directrix. Lastly, they want us to sketch the curve. To sketch the curve, of course we need the directrix, but we also need the vertices. Remember what a hyperbola looks like. A hyperbola looks like two curves that are facing in opposite directions. And they have two vertices, one here and one here. Now if I were to draw a polar plane along the polar axis, you would get a sense that this vertex has an angle of zero radians, and this vertex has an angle of pi radians. Just imagine that it starts here, you have a line that starts here, and it makes its way like this. So that's zero radians, pi over two radians, pi radians, three pi over two radians, and once again, two pi. As a result, to find the vertices, what you have to do is set theta is equal to zero radians, and theta is equal to pi radians. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute these numbers into this equation. So if you substitute zero into here, you should end up with an r value that is negative four. And if you substitute pi into here and evaluate, you should end up with an r value that's equal to four over five. So you have two points, one point that is at negative four and zero radians, another point that is at four over five and pi. Let's go ahead and plot those points. We have negative four and zero. Zero degrees means that it shoots this way. Negative four means that it will shoot four units from here except in the opposite direction. So rather than going to the right all the way here, it's gonna to go to the left. One, two, three, fourth ring. That represents negative four and zero. To plot this point, four over five in theta, theta means that it will be going in this direction and four over five is positive. 
So we'll go in the direction of the angle. 4 over 5 is 0 0.8. That's less than a ring. We have one vertex, another vertex. The directrix, the equation, was negative 4 over 3. That's equivalent to negative 1.33 repeating. So our directrix will be somewhere along here, one-third of the way between the two rings. Now we know hyperbolas behave like this, where the curves are opposite of each other. So from here, since it's just a sketch, we don't have to be super accurate. All we have to do is draw two curves going in opposite directions. And there you have it. That is how to graph a polar equation of a conic.